What's up everybody? Miss Montana Deleon here with a quick video. This is stemming from a Instagram post I just posted about um, a girl tweeted saying that 22 young, 22 is too young to get married. It's like leaving a party at 9.30 p.m. Um, I've done a video on marrying young. It's called, I've done a video on marrying young. It's called marrying young. <laughs> But um, I just wanted to touch bases on some of the comments that I was getting like, oh, my grandma and granddaddy got married at 16 and 17. They're still together eight kids later and all this other stuff. And my mom and dad have been married for 40 something years. Okay, that's nice. But please understand this. And this I've learned from experience and just knowing the inside scoop on certain people. I don't care how long someone has been together, been married. No one knows, but those two, if anybody ever stepped out of the relationship, cheated, saw another woman, saw another man, had any kind of physical or mental affair with anybody else outside of the marriage, no one knows that. The fact of the matter is, no one will ever know their every move unless they're standing there with them every day, every night, during the whole marriage, the whole duration of the marriage. No one can say, oh, well, they've been married for years, nothing ever happened. And I say that because my first experience with thinking on, from on the outside looking into one of my, my, my mother's siblings, I don't want to say aunt or uncle, but looking at one of my mother's siblings, I was very, very, very admirable of the marriage that they had. And I was just like, oh my God, I want to marry somebody just like him when I grow up. And you don't know the ins and outs of their relationship. You don't know what happened. Yeah, they had probably like, maybe like 35 years at the, no. I want to say like 20, 30 years at the time that I was admiring their marriage. And I was like, oh, I so want that. They look so happy. They're making uh, beautiful money together with their careers. They're building empires. They have a big, beautiful house. Um, they both look gorgeous together. They're always traveling and playing sports together and hanging out with their friends and doing just fabulous things. So I'm seeing the outside, I'm seeing the longevity of the marriage, not knowing that one of the people in the marriage stepped out and we found this out some year, of course the man in the marriage stepped out, we found this out. Well, I found this out, I'm quite sure adults knew about it before I did as, you know, one of the younger people looking up to them, that the man had two children outside of that marriage by two different women over the course of the marriage and they have no children together in the marriage but it kind of hurt me and disappointed me that I'm like really I thought they were so it just looked like and they've been together so long I would have never known the details of their relationship you don't know the details of someone's relationship so you can't sit up here and argue with me and tell me about oh but such as such has an amazing marriage Jay-Z and Beyonce have an amazing marriage they've been together for five years you're not there with them 24 hours a day, seven days a week. You're not there with Michelle Obama and um, Barack Obama for the duration. You were never there from the beginning to the end of their marriage every day, going to sleep with them every night, waking, with, waking, waking up with them every morning to say that they have a wonderful relationship because you don't know the ends of it. You know the outs. You know what they put on social media. You know you know the, the what you see on TV, what you see, what you see, um, sorry, I'm trying to. Get rid of this text message. You know what you see on TV. You know what you see on in pictures that the media puts out. It looks good. Same thing with Jay-Z and Beyonce. It looks good. It looks happy. She did a whole documentary about talking about her husband. But we're not there. We were just there for what she decided to film. What she decided to say on camera. We're not there 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. Looking at what they're going through. What, what's really going on behind closed doors. We don't know. We All we see is what they present. What they present looks good. So you can say, oh, I want to be like Jay-Z and Beyonce, but you have to say it the right way. I want to be like, I want a relationship like Jay-Z and Beyonce puts out there. I want that positive display that they put out there in my relationship every single day of my life. I want that kind of presentation they put out there realistically in my relationship every day you can't say oh you well you got you need to model your marriage after michelle and barack you can't because you don't know what's going on behind closed doors you don't know what's happening like i said with my aunt uncle i didn't know he was cheating on her i didn't know he had two different kids out of wedlock from a, another lady i didn't know so my point is you can tell me somebody been married for 40 years i don't care i don't care how long you have been married Look, the point is, 
you know, if somebody has been together for years and years and years, the foundation does not matter if the foundation was built on quicksand. You could have been married 40 years, 10 years. I don't care how long you've been together. But if your foundation has been on built on quicksand, the 40 years don't mean nothing to me. I'm not impressed. I can't be impressed by nothing you say because I'm not behind you closed doors. I can't believe anything that anyone says. No relationship is perfect. Yeah, we have our ups and downs, but sometimes some relationships are so freaking bad, you don't envy them at all. Dude, like I said, Uncle had babies outside of the marriage. I don't envy that at all. That's an up and a down, but that's, that's the down that you brought into your own relationship. That's not even fighting outside battles. That's you bringing the battles to your marriage. Like, no, you don't do that. So I don't care about how long someone has been married. That doesn't impress me. Doesn't impress me. What would impress me is if I knew that you've been married for so long and you've never stepped out. You've never did anything to deny or defy your spouse or your loved one or your significant other. I want to know that that foundation has been built on concrete. Not on quicksand. But you, we would never know that. Because we're not with them 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. So we can't say that. All we can see is what, what, what they present to us and what they feel like telling us. I know people who cheat and have not let their significant other know or anybody else know. Me being one, I've cheated before in the past. And nobody to this day knows that I didn't tell my best friend. I didn't tell my mom. I didn't tell my daddy. I didn't tell the person I was cheating on. People will never know. You, as a matter of fact, you just never would know. But your foundation has to be built on concrete can't be built on quicksand i don't care about how long you've been together what i need to know and i wish i knew and i wish i could see has your foundation over those 40 years been built on concrete but i would never know so i can't really envy your marriage or not i don't care what you tell me how long y'all been together how good you think it is how good you think your husband is baby don't nobody know what nobody's doing behind closed doors you probably don't even know what your own man doing behind closed doors you probably don't even know what your own woman doing behind closed doors so now i'm not going to envy, envy anybody's relationship or how long they've been together i'm going to worry about mine and work on mine and and i'm going to have something in my head and not you know somebody else that i'm going to live by or try and be like I'm going to have a relationship in my head and standards and morals and goals for my relationship in my head that I'm going to try and live up to. Okay? And the only thing that I can compare it to is what I want it to be. If I want it to be a wonderful relationship, that's what I need to work on. I'm not going to compare my relationship to J and B. I'm not going to compare my relationship to Michelle and, and, and Barack because I don't know what's going on behind closed doors. I would never know. So what I'm left to do as a role model is think about how I want my relationship to be. And in my head, shoot for that. I don't care what anybody else is doing, how long anybody else has been together. It doesn't matter because I don't know all the details. So I can't say I want to be like you or be like them or be like them. I can't say that because I don't know the ins and outs. I don't envy, no, I don't envy nobody's marriage. I don't envy nobody's relationship because you don't know what's going on behind closed doors. And they won't tell you. And a lot of times they won't even tell their spouse or anybody around them. So nobody will know. They'll just know only them and them alone. So it'll never be found out that they were married for 40 years, but they cheated three times throughout the 40 years. No one would know but them. And that's something they'll probably go to the grave with. So you can't envy anybody's longevity in a, in a, in a relationship or a marriage. Because you don't know what's been done. Who cares? I don't care if you were married for 100 years. No one's going to sit up here and be like, how long you been married? 100 years? Dedicated the whole time? No, I cheated 15 times, stepped out on this end, did it, I hollered at this girl. I, nobody's going to say that. All they're going to say is, but we've been together for 17 years and my man loves me and da 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 She's not going to tell you the times she cheated, the times he stepped out. He's not going to be like, yeah, well, she stepped out with this dude. He, nobody's going to tell that. they just going to, we've been together for seven years and we got two kids and we happy. But you're not going to tell us the bad times. I don't care. I don't care how long you've been married. It don't matter. It don't, you got to prove nothing to me. You need to prove something to yourself. Okay? Alright y'all, talk to y'all later. Love some.